We are going to be injecting voltage to find out which component has a fault. We will monitor under a thermal camera to see which component gets hot. The chip right there that is missing, that is the M92 chip or where it goes. And the cap just below that is where the short is. We're going to take a couple measurements on there. And you can see there's definitely a short there. We're going to go ahead and flip over to ohms mode and take a measurement here. And measuring about 0.4 ohms. So we'll go ahead and inject voltage here and see what component gets hot. Go ahead and get the board repositioned here and get our power supply turned on. We're going to inject one volt right here and monitor the board under a thermal camera. And you can see it's uh, kind of picking up on a couple of the little solder joints on the board there. And it's picking up on the alligator clip there. Trying to get the camera positioned in the right spot. Almost need three hands to do this. And there's the CPU. It looks like it's getting warm. That's not a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and increase the voltage on the power supply to 2 volts. And go ahead and just verify that it is the CPU that's getting hot when we inject voltage. You can see that black spot below the CPU is just light reflection. When I tilt the board at a different angle, it goes away. And we're going to take a look at the rest of the board under the camera here just to make sure nothing else looks like it's getting hot. It's definitely looking like the CPU there is, is what's getting warm. You can see that's about 102 degrees there. You will see how fast the temperature drops when I turn the voltage injection off. It definitely gets warmer when we inject voltage and the temperature drops when we remove the probe. So unfortunately we're not going to be able to fix this one, but just wanted to demonstrate the voltage injection. And that's the location on the CPU that was kind of showing the, the heat spot on the side there.